I'm Seth Mearsman with Autoblog.com, and this is the 2014 Mercedes-Benz E350 sedan. This is a car that I think really represents the spiritual center of the Mercedes sedan lineup today. It's also a car that has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the toughest competitors in the segment right now. Lexus, Cadillac, Jaguar, and Audi all make some really great cars here. Let's go take it for a spin. There's so many turbocharged engines in this segment right now that it's actually really nice to get into a car with a naturally aspirated V6. This engine sounds really great when you ring it out. And the power delivery is really linear, which is nice too. The thing about turbos though is they've got a lot more punch down low. They're a lot torquier. Uh, and you do miss that driving around town and from stoplight to stoplight in the E350. One of the things that this E-Class does very best is uh, ride and handling compromise. The ride is really fluid. It actually soaks up the worst of the bumps in the road imperfections. But it's not so soft that when you throw it into a corner, it starts acting squeamish. You hear that? Probably not. It's because one of the things that Mercedes always gets right is in-car quiet. In this segment, I really think the E-Class is one of the quietest cars on the highway and even around town. I put a fair number of hours in the car so far, and I have to say the cabin hasn't completely blown me away. The technology is easy to use, but feels a little old school, and neither the design nor the material quality of the cabin stand up to the competitive set. Listen, if you're a guy coming off a Mercedes lease or have always dreamed of walking into the showroom and coming out with a flashy new car, this E-Class isn't going to give you a single reason not to buy it. Sure. It doesn't set itself apart in any one particular area, but it does make its case as a great all-rounder. I'm Seth Mearsma with Autoblog.